Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in again today. I'm so glad you're here. Boy, have I got some exciting stories to tell you this week. In this week's update, you're wondering, Flossy, what is this? How did you get it? Why? Welcome to the chaos that is my life. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, what the smell? So I didn't film putting the bike in the van because I'm on a deadline to get to the ferry. My van didn't start so I'm running late. And then the headlights on the van kept turning off the whole way there. But what I wanted to say is thank you so much for facilitating me having this bike. I hope she treats you very well. Ooh. This is my friend Taya, by the way. <laughs> As you have seen in this previous clip, this was a gift slash I purchased it off a friend at a very uh, friendly price. I'm very grateful, thanks to Taya for helping me out. Uh, they moved off island and decided not to take the bike with them. And so here I am, newly acquired myself an electric bike. Why, you might ask? Well, with my new house, this guy, that's gonna be an expensive, expensive thing on gas. And with gas prices only going up and not down, I thought what a better way to do is have a big home and then a mode of transport that I can either use the sun to recharge or plug in and be able to get around at a fraction of the cost slash effort. I hope so, to get a little buggy trailer bike uh, carrier thing that attaches on the back, which will make it a little bit longer and hopefully mean that other vehicles on the road give me a wider berth. But isn't this just sexy and snazzy? I'm so thrilled! Yeah! Anyone else remember bicycles with banana seats from the 80s? Oh! And this one has pegs, so it does mean that two people could ride on this bike, which is super cool. So. Me and Little Red on wheels. Yes. I really want to get a cooler helmet, maybe like an actual motorcycle helmet. Because this is a badass looking bike, so let's go. Electric bike story continues. 
one of my friends has offered me a, like a kitty tow behind bike trailer. And so I'm gonna go over there now and see if it fits. And if it does, it means I can carry my wetsuit gear, take my, go out and get my shopping without having to move the van and I can just take the bike or go up dirt tracks and logging roads and places that the van can't go safely that I can still go, yay, adventuring. to get a helmet that doesn't look so dorky probably a motorcycle one but look now i can go grocery shopping or go swimming with my wetsuit and put it in here so excited this is making my glasses go funny Already move in? Are you ready for going on an adventure with me? Yeah, hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Punky Cat. Punky has an amazing cameo in the video I just put out. Yeah, you would <laughs> totally be an adventure cat. You just have to be introduced to it really slowly. I think you would freak out if it started to move. No. A kingfisher. Came all the way out to this bramble patch to pick roses and I'm a touch too early. Buds are still teeny tiny. Look, there's one singular flower. Sometimes spring happens so fast that you're like, I need to keep up. And then I'm too early. <laughs> this gorgeous tree full of apple blossoms. Gorgeous. Okay, I'm still really early, but I found some. have this beautiful rosy sap kind of scent to them. Mmm, I love the smell of sap, but the sappiness has got a rose kind of hint to it.
it's for the fairies. Okay, so for being early, I have more than I thought I did. That was fun. Definitely a little early, but I'm looking forward to getting more as the season progresses and filling a jar or multiple jars like this up. And then anytime I want rose syrup or rose water or rose tea, rose, I can just put some dried roses in it. It's going to be beautiful. I'm so excited. So I'm going to take these home and dry them. Yay! Okay, what we've got going on here, we've got some stuff cooking, some rice, and I'm going to go out to the beach. So I wanted to put on my eyebrows because there's going to be other people there that I know and I'm feeling a bit more. So I was like, oh, I better do some, do some things that make me feel good. I feel hot in my flushed face from being outside gardening. Do some things that make me feel good when I see other people. Oh, I do some stuff to my hair. Hopefully in the next day or two I'm going to bleach the regrowth and re-dye it. All the dye that I need has arrived. So I have these which are called eyebrow pomade. turning my eyebrow yellow. I've had an on and off relationship with makeup and I just got to a point where I was like I feel like I'm hiding behind it and previously I love makeup I wore a lot of it enjoyed wearing it because it was a self-expression and then I don't know, I think the complications of queer identity and fem the femness and non-binary stuff has kind of influenced the way I wear makeup. So and then I add a little of this red and it turns 
my eyebrows like gradient of orangey yellow. I love. I mean, you can see the yellow a little bit more if it's slightly orange anyway, but. My eyebrows are so blonde that they're just not really there. I mean, I have eyebrows, but anyway. Okay, the next thing we need to do is put these back in the cupboard. And I want to put some stuff in my hair, so behind this jar. Oops. Behind this jar is some conditioner. My regrowth looks really dark. Mm, excuse me, eating lunch. My regrowth looks really that dark, but if I let it all grow out, it would actually be like a sandy golden blonde. So this is moisturizing conditioner because my hair is very dry at the moment. I'm gonna put some of this in and some oil. The more hydrated my hair is, the curlier it is. At the moment it is not very hydrated. Mm, I can go feel presentable to go see people. Which is very ironic considering I need to do these to see people in real life when I put out videos on YouTube all the time. Well, it's just, it feels different, okay? You get to see a less polished version of me sometimes. I just whipped up a really quick bowl of nettle pesto. Didn't film it because I'm in a rush to go out, so I've got to clean my blender later on. And I used cashew nuts. And there's still a bunch of nettle I can have later. And I accidentally dried this lot. This was supposed to be for pesto, but I didn't get around to it. So it crispy fied so I can put it in my tea. So time to clean up a little bit before we go. Oh my God, I love nettle pesto so much. Yum, 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 yum. In fact, oh, trying to eat lunch, prepare food, and go. Mmm. Mm. Oh, it tastes so good, fresh too. Mm, okay, let's add a bit more oil. I decided I might make a sneaky cocktail to take with me. So, I've got my raspberry gin liqueur some syrup and I'm gonna fizz some water. I love soda streams, they don't require any electricity. some cordial Ooh, I'm gonna have to shake it and then drink some because the lid's not gonna go on it's too full I have to taste test taste testing your cocktails is always very important in the water. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> There's a couple of porpoises. There it is. Porpoise there. Porpoises out there. <gasps> there it is. <gasps> wow. Looks like there's a seal over there too. Oh, that was so cool. I'm so glad I got to see them. People saw and I didn't have my glasses on and so I dashed up here on the rocks to try and see them. I think we may have missed it, that might be the all, but there was like three of them. Oh, 
are glistening in the sunlight. Oh, yay. Oh, I'm so glad I got to see them. If it topples towards me, tell me something. <laughs> Delicious. Well done. <laughs> Hi and welcome to British Columbia summer. It's raining as you can hear. I just woke up. I just woke up. And I wanted to be like share a little bit about my life with you right now. Oh, I was up really late last night editing. So I put out one video a week on YouTube, generally every Wednesday, um, Wednesday afternoons. Um, but at the moment I am editing my very first documentary. I'm making a documentary about the group of older women who swim on the island and have been swimming for the last 20 years and they swim all year round. And I just think they're a kind of cool bunch of people and I also want to bring awareness to, from people who don't swim into the intertidal creatures and sea life and the changes that are going on in that ocean area. Um, so it's my first documentary and it's exciting to be editing it, but today is Thursday. I, it's, today's Thursday the 9th. It screens on June 22nd and it's not finished yet. And top it off, I'm hoping I'll get about to get a version of it into the San Francisco Underwater Film Festival. And the deadline for that is next Wednesday. It's getting there, I know I'll get it done. I've like somehow not freaked out and just knowing that I'm capable of doing it. I'm just tired. I try to work 
edit a doc. Excuse me, I just woke up. Work, edit a documentary, post YouTube videos, film, and finish some of the tidy up stuff on the step van build is just, it's a lot. And I'm, I think I just woke up grumpy this morning. I think I woke up grumpy because it's raining on top of all of that. So I still have tomatoes to plant, but I haven't planted them yet. It's June and I haven't planted my tomatoes. What is going on? I just wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine. Octo hat. Octopus. I made a hat. Now I made this hat over winter. I went through a bit of a breakup in the end of last year and I was in a really unhappy place so I decided to put some of that grief energy into making this fabulous hat. I love it so much. It's a crochet pattern, it wasn't that hard to do and you can find it on Etsy if you wish to do it yourself. And so was born Octohat and Octohat has become quite a fan of a number of people on this channel, or a number of people on this channel have become quite a fan of Octo Hat, and so I wanted to make sure we had introductions. So if I mentioned this fabulous beast, you would know who I was talking about. Second of all, um, so Octo Hat has a few things to say. Hey, Octo Hat, I'm having a bit of trouble. I'm feeling super stressed about this documentary of mine and I just don't know what to do. It's stressing me out and I've got so much to do. Octahat, I don't know what to do. I'm getting these incoming vibes of just going with the flow, man. Just going with the flow. Chill, it'll all work out. Just go with the flow. Okay. Okay, I think, I think I'm getting something here. I think I'm feeling like if I just keep working hard, it's all gonna work out. Something, something in my head is telling me to go with the flow and just get it done. Go with the flow, man, go with the flow. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoy. Sorry I don't have the statistics and facts about the bike, but oh my gosh, is it saving me so much money on gas. And in today's economic climate, oh my gosh, with the price of petrol, van life has suddenly got very expensive. So I'm still able to move around. I'm still going away on lots of adventures, but I'm putting the van somewhere, parking it, and then hopping on the bike and going exploring. And it is fantastic. I love it. And this bike goes fast. So sometime soon, I'll be going to a motorcycle store, getting some proper gloves, looking at some motorcycle pants and a motorcycle helmet because Holy moly, do I not want to end up on the side of the road falling off my bike. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Got some exciting stuff coming up soon. More adventures. I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye.